Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And today I've got some things I want to show you that I have for sale. And yes, my snapper is still sitting here. I haven't done a thing to it because I've been trying to get this one ready to sell. And I can't get that wheel flange off to replace that boot. I've tried everything. I've tried heat pulling on it. I've tried heating it and quenching it. I've tried penetrating oil. Nothing's working. So, we're going to get the die grinder out and a cutoff wheel. And we're going to get that baby off there. <laughs> One way or another. But let's go outside. That's where I got this stuff sitting. And I'll show you what I got. And give you the prices that I'd like to get for them. So let's run out there. Okay, I can't really get in the picture very good, but I have three Thatcherizers for a walk behind lawnmower. Two of them are used. One is brand new. This one is black in color. Those are red. This one I believe was made for the snappers that Sears sold that were black instead of red but they were identical to the later models and the ones that they just came out with in 2019 um, I'm asking $85 a piece for these and for this brand new one $95 Now these have been discontinued. I talked to a the guy I deal with at White Lake Nursery and he figures as far as he can remember these were discontinued about 30 years ago. So they haven't made these for 30 years and they're getting harder to find and I have to pay more to get them. Now I also have a 28 inch let me tip this down that is in remarkably good shape there's hardly any rust on it all the pieces are there and that's another one we run on a trip to find that I'm asking a 110 for and these are all uh, plus shipping. Shipping is not bad. To send them down to South Carolina, I think it was like $28. Now, for all you bad boys and girls with your bad toys, I have another Thatcherizer, but you will never see one like this again, and you probably have never seen one before this. This is a 42 inch Thatcherizer. The handle is not on it because he had some goofy bar on here. I took it off and I made a new handle for it. It looks identical to the other ones, but the paint wasn't dry so I couldn't bring it home. It's in pretty good shape. It's not really that rusty, but it is 42 inches wide for you guys with the bigger machines. <clears throat> now, you're saying, wait a minute, when I went and got this, it was a cold, dingy day and it was raining. So I just kind of looked at it and said, okay, I'll take it. I paid the guy. But <laughs> what I didn't know is Snapper never made a 42 inch Thatcherizer. If you look close to this, and he did an awesome job, this is a custom made uh, Thatcher. What he did is he took two of them and cut them, and you can look right here, you can see where he welded this together. I'm going to tip this down a little bit. Now, if you notice on all these Thatchers, 
the ends are cut on a 45. So he even went to the trouble when he cut this one, he cut the opposite 45 on the end of this. So when he welded it in, he didn't have a gap here. He did an awesome job putting this together. So you guys with the bigger machines that want to be able to thatch the width of your machine instead of making multiple passes, there it is. Unless you get somebody else to make one, you will never see another one of these again. This is a custom built thatcher. And I'd like to get $145 out of this. Now one more thing that I've got, and according to White Lake, these were discontinued, he says somewhere around 32 to 35 years ago. This is the only one I've ever seen, but I knew that they had made them. And that is a plow blade for the front of your snapper. It does turn both ways. It has a pin that you drop in when you turn it. And it tips up and down. Now the way he used it, apparently he had a cement driveway. So he took the feet off. It does have regular feet just like a snow plow has. So if you have a gravel driveway, you can put these back on and you won't be plowing gravel. This is not a cheaply made blade. This thing is heavy and it is about an eighth of an inch thick rolled steel. So it is well built. It hooks into the machine in the same place your Thatcherizers do with a steel bar. Um, I can't really tell you how wide this is. I guess let me grab a tape and we'll measure it. Okay, let's check this out here. This is 36 inches wide and when it's on the ground It is 16 inches tall. Now, when I was talking to Chris down at White Lake and told him I found one of these, he said, well, have you ever found the other option that they made for these snappers? And I said, well, what was that? He said they actually built and sold a two-stage snowblower that went on the front of these. You took your mower deck off and you ran a belt back and hooked on to the engine like your mower deck belt does and it came up and ran the snowblower. I've seen one on YouTube with a guy using it and I thought he made that himself. But Chris told me no, Snapper did have them made and sold them for their machines. A little history lesson I guess and uh, this is the parts that I have and what I'm selling them for this snow plow I'm asking $225 plus shipping now hopefully you live close enough where you can come and get this thing because I don't know what the shipping rate would be I'd have to weigh it and see what it uh, actually weighs I'm guessing it goes 65, 70 pounds anyway altogether. But if you're interested, let me know and uh, I'll get your address and actually come up with an accurate shipping price and I'll let you know. And as you can tell, my leaves are coming down like crazy. This machine is another one that will be for sale. Uh, I picked it up. It's in beautiful shape. 
it has a it looks like it has a fresh paint job on it but it is original paint there is a couple spots that is a little rusty and I was using it the other day sucking up some leaves and I wanted to take a picture of the yard and the difference between where I had I call it vacuuming because these things are remarkable and where I hadn't went so I made about four passes through my yard and I got off of it to take a picture of the difference in the machine and I noticed it was smoking and I said whoa wait a minute uh, the engine runs fine what's the smoke so I took the air breather cover off and as soon as I did <coughs> I seen exactly what the problem was <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mouse moved in with the biggest mouse nest I have ever seen packed into an engine I'm surprised that it didn't catch on fire and burn up but I got it tore down I took it over to the car wash in here in town and I had to blast all the fins out because they were just packed full of stuff I got it all cleaned up got to put it back together and this one will be for sale too it's a remarkably clean machine it was always garage kept and uh, it has a I believe it's a nine horse on it power built it's the better engine the only thing that I didn't notice before I went to get it is it's strictly rope start no battery to deal with and you put this thing on choke and if you remember to turn on the key it starts on the first pull every time I've started it awesome little engine it runs great uh, I've got a couple things I want to do to it uh, which includes two boots on this one they're both shot it's got them cheap nylon or plastic tan colored ones they're falling off so I'll put two new rubber boots on it and this machine will be for sale too it is a 28 inch and they're all high vacs I don't buy any machine that is not a high vac machine the price that I'm going to sell this for <clears throat> It's going to depend on how much I put into it on top of what I paid for it <clears throat> to uh, get it up to what I consider factory new conditions. I don't buy a machine and sell it the way I buy it. Um, there's not too many out there that are in that good a shape. So if you're looking for a machine, I will have two 28 inch machines for sale. Uh, as soon as I get them done. <clears throat> this has got a fairly new blade on it and it came with a Ninja recycling blade and the cover that goes on the deck that plugs it up so it doesn't discharge the grass clippings. That I'm gonna sell separately. They are extremely hard to get a hold of also so I'm not sure what I'm gonna sell that for yet but that's what I've got and if you're interested throw me an email and we can work something out and until next time work safe have fun and keep on snapping we'll talk to you soon so long